All right, what is going on guys? So, a little bit of a change of scenery today. We're in the shed for the first time. First video I filmed in here. Um, in today's video, we are gonna be going over what I think is are the best pipelers for beginners. Uh, now, I get messages on Instagram, like, every day, every other day at least. People asking me, I'm just starting out pipe fishing. What lures would you recommend? What lures should I get? I've never pipe fished before, etc. Um, so I thought I'd make a video on it. It seems a lot of people are getting into pipe fishing with lures. Um, so yeah, be a, a good video. Next time someone messages me that, I can just link this to them. Um, so this is my personal take on what I think are better for beginners. Um, other people have different opinions. So if, if you watch this and you think differently, put it in the comments and then people can read them, learn, can all learn off each other what we think are good for beginners. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get right into it. Give a little bit of background on where I started with pike fishing. Um, so I think my first pike I caught when I was, I don't exactly remember my age, eight, nine, 10 maybe. Um, and it was on this little silver spoon. I've still got it, which is kind of surprising. I found it the other day. Um, tiny little silver spoon. It's got a little weed guard on it. It doesn't say anything on it apart from Japan, so I have no idea who made it or anything. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that is the first, the lure I caught my first pike on. Super easy to use. Really small, so you catch perch, trout, anything on that. Uh, didn't really know what I was doing because I was only a kid, but yeah, so. And that's where I started. Didn't really fish for pike for a while after that. Uh, and then when I started getting back into it when I was a teenager, um, I used to just take like four lures out with me. And with what I had, um, I had a copper spinner, which is what I used 90% of the time. A copper spoon. This, um, the lips broke off it now, but this was one of my first lures I actually bought, which is a fox... Gonzo, I think. I don't think they make these anymore. But um, yeah, I used to use that a ton. And a Fox Rage Fat Willy as well, which is another one they've discontinued. So they were like four lures that I used all the time. That's all I had. Um, and I used to catch fish. Um, reason they were good for a beginner like me was um, you just cast them out, wind them in. You didn't have to worry about anything else. You didn't have to worry about how to rig them differently. To worry about adding hooks onto them you didn't have to worry about anything just tie them on cast them out wind them in cast them out wind them in that's all i used to do when i used to catch fish um not the best lures for a beginner um but they worked for me so now i'm gonna quickly show you a few of my lures that i've got here pick out a few that i think will be suited for a beginner um and explain why basically what i'd class as a good beginner lure is something that doesn't need any like doesn't need you to put the action into the lure if that makes sense like you can just cast it out and wind it in and the lure will work itself and you don't need to do anything else to rig it you can get it out of the box and it's ready to go like i know like stingers shallow screws adding weight to lures and everything when you're first starting it's, it just goes straight over your head it, it just sounds like alien talk so yeah, I'm going to pick out a few lures, show you guys why I think they'd be good for beginners. And uh, yeah, hopefully it'll help some of you guys out. I'm not going to go for like specific brands of lures or anything like that. I'm just going to pick like types of lures of what I've got. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to pick the camera up and show you a few, a few, uh, a few lures that I've got. Right guys, so first couple of lures we're going to look at is spinners and spinner baits. Now, I think spinners are probably like one of the best lures for beginners. Um, so easy to use and you can catch like any predatory fish on them. Um, like, I think loads of people who are experienced still use spinners as their go-to lure nowadays anyway. I mean, I use them a ton, especially for trout or chub fishing. Um, you catch a lot of pike on spinners if you're targeting them. And it's, yeah, perfect lure for beginners. Easy to use. Doesn't need any extra rigging, just tie it onto your trace and cast it out, you're sorted. Just make sure you have a swivel on or your line will get twisted up. So yeah, 100% recommend a spinner. And spinner baits, same principle, 
you cast it out, wind it in, but you've got a little bit of a bigger profile with those. Um, you can get them in like huge sizes as well, like sort of sizes that I'd use when I'm using spinner baits. Um, but yeah, great, great, great lures, spinners and spinner baits for beginners. Of course, they're so easy to use and they catch fish. Like I, I still use spinner baits now, I still use spinners now. Really good lures, worth having in your box whether you've been fishing a month or 10 years. So yeah, first lures I'm gonna mention, spinners and spinner baits. This is a Savage Gear Rotex spinner. Uh, doesn't matter what brand, like obviously cheaper ones are not gonna be as good. But yeah, Savage Gear Rotex are good go-to's or MEPS, etc. And spinner baits again, better brands, Western ones. Savage Gear Debosh is a good spinner bait. Um, I've got some quantum ones, these big quantum ones are really nice as well. Um, and then some smaller ones with like these uh, gunky ones. Different blades. Uh, the baits swim differently with, so a willow blade. Um, it's a bit of a faster retrieve and a faster vibration. Colorado blade is um, slow thumping vibration. You can work the bait slower. So same principle, slightly different actions, but again, just work them the same. So yeah, spinners and spinner baits, definitely go to for beginners. Next thing we're going to look at is crankbaits. Now crankbaits, again, so easy to use. Cast them out, wind them in. Cast them out, wind them in. You can buy them uh, to work at different depths and it'll say on the crankbait what depth you can work on. Like this big one here, if you see it, should take it out of packaging really. But um, yeah, two to four meters depth. So that's like the depth of water you'd want to fish it in or deeper than that. You, want off, you wouldn't want to fish that in like one meter deep water. Um, this one, yeah, it doesn't actually say on the Savage Gear one what depth it runs at, but um, I'm guessing sort of one to two meters maybe looking at that lip. Um, so yeah, I'll say on, say on the website when you buy it anyway. But yeah, you can, you can buy um, crankbaits to work at the depth of your water. So if, if you know you're fishing an eight foot deep canal, get a crankbait that dives to seven foot, I'd say. Um, and yeah, super easy bait to use. A, a lot of beginners use crankbaits. A lot of experienced people use crankbaits as well. I don't use them so much because I find them a little bit boring because it's, it's literally just casting out and winding in. Um, but you can, you can add stops into there. You can speed it up, slow it down if you want. But if you really want to stick to the basics, just cast them out and wind them in. And you can get from really small sizes like this. This is four grams right up to big 17 centimeter 100 gram ones like huge bait i'll get out huge crankbait there i'll probably <laughs> probably do more trolling than casting with something like that but yeah definitely uh worth having a few in your box if you're a beginner again easy to use cast it out wind it in you don't need to add hooks or anything to it yourself um and yeah versatile bait buy it buy a few at different depths um and yeah, you sorted really. Next thing we're going to look at is some of the Savage Gear line through range. Now, these are perfect thing about these for beginners is they come with a wire leader already attached to it. So that's one less thing to worry about. You don't have to worry about what leader you're going to use because it comes with the lure. Um, there are a huge amount of these uh, swim bait ones like this um, perch, roach, trout, um, pulse tail ones shad tail ones big 25 centimeter uh approach ones uh they go right up to 40 centimeters from 15 centimeters i think the smallest one is uh so yeah huge amount of range in these lures uh one of my first lures when i first started my youtube channel what i used to use all the time was the 15 centimeter uh line through trout it's like 40 grams and again cast it out wind it in and the pipe just go mental for them um leaders attached like i say one last thing you've got to worry about just tie that stretching main line and you're good to go so yeah definitely recommend some of the line through uh lures for beginners very realistic as well so it's you don't have to worry about like confidence wise whether the, <laughs> whether you're going to trip the fish with it because they look so realistic the pike go nuts for them so again 
easy to use, easy to rig, and you're sorted with those. Another good bait for beginners is a shad tail lure. Again, very easy to use. Um, you don't want to worry about loose body shads as a beginner because then you're going to get messed up thinking about how to rig them and everything. Uh, but you can buy like these fox ones. Uh, a lot of the fox ones do ready rigged lures, especially like the um, pro shads, jointed pro shads, stuff like that. Buy them rigged and you don't need to worry about adding the hooks. Uh, Rapala x rap Pitos, amazing lure, especially for beginners. Uh, like I say, it's rigged up, it's ready to go. It's hybrid lure. You get the best of both worlds. Pike go mad for these. Like, <laughs> I've caught like so many, like probably like two or three years ago, like this was my top catcher. I probably got 100 pike in that year with these. Don't use them so much anymore because I've just sort of grown out of them. But yeah, very good lure. 14 centimeter one, and they do, if I can find where one is, there we go. Can't pull it out right now, but 20 centimeter ones as well. Uh, I've caught pike up to like 16 pounds on that. So yeah, great lure. Um, again, a fox replicant come rigged up already. Shallow, this is a shallow replicant. You can get deeper diving ones if you're fishing deeper waters. But easy lure to use, comes rigged up. Nothing to worry about apart from casting it and winding it in. So, yeah, they're another lure I'd definitely recommend. Um, and obviously, the Pitos as well. They've got their uh, the killer tail twin there, the Otis. So another easy lure for beginners. Uh, cast it out, wind it in, fish it a little bit slower. Um, and yeah, you sorted. Another good thing to have in your uh, tackle box as a um, beginner would be a nice top water lure. Savage Gear Rats, super easy to use. Um, like insane blow ups on them so yeah something like that in your box definitely would recommend getting uh, and you can get other stuff like this this is a, a custom made uh, whopper plopper but you can buy branded ones of those um, soft hollow bodied ones if you're fishing really weedy waters just stops you getting uh, angry about your hooks tangling and everything sometimes you get ducks stuff like that Loads of choice of top waters. You can get some really crazy baits like this one. Budgie. Um, and yeah, top water would be a nice addition. Again, they're, they're, especially these wraps, very easy to use for beginners. Um, I still use it now because it's so much fun. Um, and yeah, catch you a ton of fish. So guys, hopefully that's a little bit helpful for you. Um, so I've just picked out five types of lures that I would suggest a beginner would start with. So we've got spinners as our spinner baits. Like I said, super easy to use, like classic pike catching machine. Shad tail lures, doesn't have to be a hybrid like this, Rapala, x -Rap Otis, uh, Pito, sorry. Um, you can get non-hybrid ones. Um, just make sure you get one that's pre-rigged uh, so it comes with the hooks, because you, you don't want to get like, uh, this is one I made myself, but you don't want it, that turning up as a beginner and thinking, what am I going to do now? <laughs> what hooks am I going to put on? And uh, yeah, you're going to be a bit lost with something like that. So definitely make sure you get one that's got hooks on already if you're just starting out. Uh, once you've learned a bit more about everything, you know, buy some that aren't rigged up, rig them up yourself, so then you can go with the hook sizes you want. Um, a Savage Gear line through swim bait, definitely recommend one of those, like the line, the 15 centimeter line through trout incredible uh, for a beginner like so much fun with that probably five years ago when i was using it the most like just catching so many fish on it and that's what that that lure what is what really got me into lure fishing for pike so yeah savage gear line through swim baits very recommended i don't use them a huge amount anymore um it's just like i've grown out of them but yeah definitely recommend them um Top water lure, especially one of the Savage Gear Rats. So easy to use. Um, and yeah, the fish go nuts for them. Wouldn't use it in winter, sort of. 
March to October time is probably best for top water layers, but so much fun with those. All right. <laughs> yeah, incredible. Uh, and lastly for a uh, recommended type of layer is a crankbait. This is a different one I pulled off the shelf, but they all do the same thing. Cast them out and wind them in. Usually say the depth uh, on them that they, it's a bit dinted up now, but 2.5 metre floating. So it'll float up when you pause dive down to 2.5 meters. So yeah, slightly deeper water, slightly deeper running one, um, rather than something like this, um, what would run a lot shallower down to one and a half meters, maybe on a slow retrieve. Cut the hook points off that one, but yeah. So five types of layers, but there's so much choice. This is just sort of like what I'd recommend for beginners. And size as well, they don't have to be big layers. Um, stuff like these classic bait, catch a load of pike on them. Like nine centimeter layers like this, if you can get them re pre rigged for you, you, catch tons of pike on those, perch, chub, even trout would take those. So they don't have to be big layers. But then again, if you want big layers, you can go real big. So. So guys, I hope that's been helpful to any new pike anglers, new lure anglers um, who wanted to get into pike fishing. It is a bit of a minefield for lures out there, but yeah, five types that you can look into there. Uh, I'll put some links in the description to some I recommend. Um, and yeah, hopefully it helps you catch some fish. Two months time maybe, fishing's gonna pick up for lures. So if you're not catching now, stick with it. You'll definitely get some soon best time of year march april so yeah um side note if anyone's interested i've made up a few of my own layers um and they're on my website now they're not the best finish on them as you can see but they do catch fish so if anyone wants some of them link in the description again dvfishing.co.uk um a few different calls on there and I'd sell leaders and stuff like that as well if you want any leaders, lure rattles or whatever. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully it's been helpful. Make sure you go into the description for links to the lures that I recommend for beginners. And uh, yeah, catch you guys next time.